Today, we're going on an adventure to explore the amazing world of living and non-living things. By the end of this video, you'll become experts at spotting the differences between them. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about living things. Living things are all around us, from the tiniest ant to the tallest tree. But what makes something a living thing? Well, there are some special characteristics that all living things share. Let's go through them one by one. Living things grow and change. Think about when you were a baby. You've grown a lot since then, right? Just like you, all living things grow and change throughout their lives. Living things need food, water, and air. You know how you feel hungry and thirsty sometimes? That's because your body needs food and water to stay healthy and strong. And just like you need air to breathe, all living things need air to survive. Living things can move on their own. Animals, like birds and cats, can move from one place to another. Even plants can move their leaves and branches towards sunlight. Living things can reproduce. This means that they can create new living things, just like them. You've seen baby animals or new plants growing from seeds, right? That's reproduction in action. Now that we know what makes something a living thing, Let's talk about non-living things. Non-living things are objects that don't have the characteristics we just talked about. Some examples of non-living things are rocks, water, and toys. Non-living things don't grow, change, or need food, water, and air. They also don't move on their own or reproduce. So if you see a toy car, you know it's a non-living thing because it doesn't have any of the special characteristics that living things have. Let's do a quick game to test your skills. I'll say a few things and you have to decide if they're living or non-living. Ready? Here we go! A tree in your backyard. That's right, it's a living thing. Your favorite book. Good job, it's a non-living thing. A butterfly flying around a garden. Yep, it's a living thing. A glass of water. You got it, it's a non-living thing. Great job, everyone. Now you know the differences between living and non-living things. Next time you go outside, Try to spot some living and non-living things around you. You'll be amazed at how many you can find. Worksheets relating to this short video can be downloaded by creating a free account at ngscience.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the NG Science YouTube channel to never miss a video.